Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Drafal Maraxi, and today I'm actually going to do a construction video on the Swift or Vertical Hoverbot. Uh, this is the completed version. Uh, I'm not going to be rebuild rebuilding exactly the same bot because uh, quite honestly I don't have enough blocks, but at least I'm going to try and explain the concept of how it actually works. Uh, first thing we need to do is build about 15 blocks off the ground. Uh, this is just so that we can actually get the seat in the right place. Uh, so let's switch to the block we're going to use. I'm going to use green blocks for this just to actually flesh out the construction design and design. Uh, so first thing is to build the frame in which the pilot's going to sit. Enforcement block up in the corner here. And let's get the pilot seat and dump that in here. So that's where we're starting. And now um, we need to s extend out the frame so that we can actually put the. Ah, my m middle button's not working great. Uh, so that we can actually put the blades on here. Uh, we're going to use uh, 10 L2 hover plates uh, for this particular version, so I need one, two, three... Uh, I think I need to extend it back. Oh, extend it up one more. Should be enough, so let's go and get the blades. Alright, so I want one here, mostly because it adds a little bit of armour to the pilot seat. And it also acts as the ejector seat if we need one. And so that's the basic frame for this part completed, but now we need to actually Add in some steering, so let's drop this down here. There need to be two sets of steering thrusters on this design for it to actually turn, so we're going to put the forward thrusters about here, and the rear thrusters need to be behind the pilot seat up here, so let's just actually, yeah, about there it's going to do. Man, this mouse is hypersensitive on the scroll wheel. There we go. Yeah, um, in terms of steering, uh, if I was to try and put these in front of the pilot seat here, uh, it would actually counteract the other thrusters that have got to go at the front here, so... Uh, that's why they're in their particular positions they are. Um, actually, I can move these blocks up one. So this should be basically what I need to actually make the design maneuverable. So let's go and test that. Now, as you can see, the front's actually sitting up a little bit high. Uh, if I go left and right, there we've got the movement, forward thrust, uh, got a fair amount of speed, but then there's no weight on the bottom at the moment. Uh, the more level you get it, the faster you go, so let's switch out of practice. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually put some more blocks on the back here. Uh, I'm actually going to need to buy some more, so let's go to the depot. Shift, or is it control to buy more? There we go. Let's buy 40 blocks that'll do. And let's put another line of them here. This also acts as an additional armor for, from people shooting at you from the air. And 
uh, probably not going to need any more below, and it also means that I'll be able to mount guns up here that won't get um, the placement won't be prevented by where the hover blades are. So now let's put a little bit of armor around the pilot seat here. And I'm probably just going to leave it with one set of blocks at the bottom. Although it is where you're going to be taking the majority of the damage. So there we go. So grab some more of these. I can probably afford to slope from that point on the back. Um, ideally, we need to actually put some more steering uh, control on this. So let's put. It. probably want to try and put some armor around these as well because they no longer are strong as they used to be. Here we go. Might be a little bit front heavy now. Let's just go and test that. No, yeah, we're still good. Cool. need some more uh, steering on the back just to balance it out. First of all, let's put some of the gun emplacement uh, or the hard points on for the guns. It's going to need to be seven wide just to get out beyond the hover blades there. So some more protection on the pilot seat. No, they're going to be too... actually, these probably need to be moved forward a little bit. Uh, the first set of guns should actually be between these two blades. So let's rebuild that out here. I want to make this relatively solid. Okay, and let's stick a couple of guns on. Uh, 
what am I going to use? Let's put the L3s on here. And also need to put reverse thrust, uh, the rear thrusters on as well. Hmm, that's looking good. Uh, let's put some more guns underneath. I've uh, got L2s here, they'll do. Front, one in the middle, and we can fit one on the rear. Nope, I don't have another one. What have we got here? Oh, that one to do. There we go. This is more to demonstrate how it works anyway, so let's go to combat. So, yeah, that's basically the frame concept. Uh, from here, you, it's just a matter of loading on more items onto it and reinforcing the areas between the hover blades. Uh, it needs a little bit more front weight on the bot and also front armor in ca if you, that's how you prefer to approach your enemies. And you really want to try and keep the back heavy enough so that it's relatively level, but otherwise, there's a lot you can do. So, let's just put a few more blocks on the front here and see if I can get a bit more level and I'll probably drop the video at that point. Yeah, obviously with higher tier hover blades you can put a lot more weight on it. Um, but anyway, um, what else can I do here? Oh yeah, get those. So yeah, anyway, that's basically the concept, so hopefully that gives you enough information to actually go ahead and build your own version. Um, you know, I could show you how to build the entire thing, but then, you know, what's the fun in not learning anything, so... Anyway, thank you for watching, if you want to subscribe, the link is in the top corner, um, and I'll see you in Robocraft.